We're back to some dove hunting. I'm here with Mike. We got a bunch of other guys in the field right now. We got them surrounded. I'm at a different spot today. I got the old Remington Sweet 16 with me today, full choke. I heard that they're flying super high. I can't hit the broad side of a barn when they're close up, so hopefully with this full choke, I'll be able to knock some down up high. There's one coming right there. You gonna take that side of the bale? I'll take this side, split them off at the pass, just blast some lead up there. We got a triangle situation. Got some boys over here, some others down at the corner. But me and Mike, we got the best spot. We're up high. We got the elevation covered. Well, folks, they are flying. I'm probably going to experience some pellets landing on me here in just a second. Far out, they're coming. Oh, we got a single too. Go. Got one. Those are pigeons. pigeons, yeah. We winged one. Yeah, we winged one out there too. Just flew in the back of their house. Straight up. What? Dang! <laughs> we dropped two. Yeah. Did we get another one down? Yeah. Oh, shit. Some are too hot. Here's a quattro. We're going to just send it. Oh, I got him. Yeah. yeah. Come on now. What do we got there, Mike? White wing? White wing. The old white winger. White wing down. It's good. It's bigger than those mornings. <laughs> Golly. That was a $20 bird. <laughs> More of these high, high trotting birds here. <laughs> it's hard to just let them fly over like that, even yeah, though they're a mile away. Uh oh, here we go. Scared. Yeah, scared one. You at least gotta let Get them know you're down here. Hanged him. Hell out of here. <laughs> this one's going down. Oh, we landed on the hay bale. Well, this is some live action here. Oh. Dude. One. Nose dive. Dude. Oh yeah. This is already like four times as many birds as I saw on opening day. So I'm like, I don't even know what to do. He's winged. Well, so far we got about 400 shells on the ground. Probably about six doves. Within the whole group, we probably got about 30 at about 700 shells being shot. Pretty good averages yeah. today. If you're talking fishing terms, cast to catch, that's pretty good. You know, you make that many casts, you're catching that many fish. You're doing all right. Probably spend just as much money too. After you get the boat and everything. Just in shells. Oh, come on. Come on, buddy. You coming back? You want to join the herd over here, sir? Folks, we are getting a lot of action out of the shotguns today. Way behind him. We shot as many shells as we've seen though. <laughs> <In altitude. laughs> He's going high. Oh. Yeah! 16 gauge. We got the, the old bird dogs coming in. 
He went away, didn't he? Appreciate it. Yeah, man. Lots of birds though, ain't there? Oh my gosh, Lots man. Lots of birds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many birds. First one. Oh. That was a nice white pigeon. Probably came from Alaska. It's good sometimes to just come out and make sure everything's operational. They're still slinging lead properly, not getting jammed. We're done blasting. We've done worn our shoulders out. We've increased the uh, the sales on shotgun shells tremendously. So you might see a spike on the Dow Jones on that. Let me take this vest off here and show you guys what we're working with. Now these are white wingers, so they're a little more beefy than those uh, those morning doves. The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I thought there was a pigeon in here. Well, we got nine birds, Mike. This is how it goes down. Oh wait, you know what? Little, little, uh, little, little cooter out here. What's his name? Coop. Coop. Yo, Coop Loop. Where you at, dog? Something. There he goes. Step one, you gotta grab you some juicy bacon. Back that up. Step one is killing the doves. These are the dove breasts. We've had these just kind of chilling. These were shot this morning. Second step, you gotta get yourself some jalapenos. When you're in Texas, you gotta get you some of them jalapenos right there. Hold them up, Mike. Those are, those are true Texas jalapenos. Step three, if you really wanna go the extra golden mile and get yourself some cream cheese, it is delicious. It adds that fatty, flavorful, just fills the whole, whole daggum thing with flavor and it's, oh, it's just creamy, it's good. Goes fan. Fantastic with your favorite frosty beverage as well. Drink responsibly, I'm just saying. I used to get the real thin bacon, but now I'm, I'm a thick bacon kind of guy. I like, I like the thick bacon, even though, even though it's more expensive. It's worth it. Thing is though, the thin bacon forms better if you, if you want to fully encase the dove. But anyway, we're gonna move on to this next step process. If you are a, uh, a fan of real spicy food, maybe you want to keep a few of the seeds in there. But let me tell you, that little white part with those seeds, That'll send your mouth if you're not used to eating jalapenos, so watch out for that. Last time we got together, we were eating uh, sheep, so. This might be a little better. Might be a little better grade. That right there, friends, is the wrapped masterpiece. Texas succulent delight. Oh man, that cream cheese melts into the meat. A little jalapeno, it's kind of like sushi, except it's cooked and it's dove meat and it's awesome. So it's not like sushi. So it's not like sushi at all, really. I just <laughs> threw that out there because of the cream cheese and the jalapeno. This is what you call a Lone Star Dove Roll right here. If you were at a sushi place, that's what that would be called. I feel bad because I'm just sitting here talking to the camera. I'm using the camera, using you, you guys as an excuse here to not be making some of these. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it involved here and make some. And then, you know what happens when we're done making these? And eating them? Oh, yeah, it's gonna be time to go get more because they're still flying. Lone Star Dove Wraps. I truly hope that every one of y'all gets to try this at some point in your lifetime. But every time I've been on a dove shoot in Texas, this is what ends up happening. It is the best way to do it. When's the last time you saw one of these bad boys? The old mama's a daisy. This one says buck. That is bringing back some memories. The old one cocker BB gun. I don't know how many bottles, cans, and robin birds I shot. Probably shouldn't be mentioning that, but anyway, I think I need to shoot this thing for old times' sake. Oh, what do you need to hit? Tell me, gunslinger. Shoot. shoot that water bottle. Oh, shoot that. oh, daggum. Got him! Woo! 
This is a delicate balance on the cream cheese versus the bacon and the dough. There's a lot of things going on right here, Mike. What's your first indicator? Flip them, flip them a couple times when that bacon gets black. You go multi-flip? Oh yeah. You start seeing that black on that bacon. And that jalapeno starts to shrivel a little bit? Mm-hmm. I think there's one pigeon in there as well, which... Two pigeons. Two pigeons? Pigeons? Tell everybody that pigeons are actually good. They're very good. I, I shot them last year during the winter season. And I was impressed. That was the first time I had them. Look at that. Plate of dove. Time to head out again, y'all, and get some more of these birds. We cooked them up in a hurry. I'm serious. This was probably like 20, 20 minutes. They smell delicious. Now, I will tell you guys, make sure to check for pellets. You know, when you're chewing, don't just go ham on your bowlers. Because when you're biting down through all that stuff and you hit one of them deals, it will daggum break your tooth if you if you hit it super hard that looks like a pigeon mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Huh. all in huh mm. i didn't mean mm. 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 that right there y'all is why you go dove hunting it is something awesome to do with your family and your friends and the camaraderie is awesome it's a good group activity spread them out get some doves share the love spread the spread the doveness and gosh damn it's just a good time absolutely delicious good job mike thank you you did a heck of a job i didn't get any bb's on that one either there's one out there gosh dang they're flying okay go get your hunting license I'm sure get your fit just go ahead and get everything all right super get combo. out there just get, get, your, get a life, just get if, a lifetime if you're in texas make sure to get your super combo daggum it get out in the outdoors enjoy some of this y'all is that an elk it's not a nail. That's a that's a gate. Yes, yes, Mike. Yes. I was gonna be pissed if we missed him. <laughs> well, y'all, we just got out here again. Mike just popped one. Popped one on the first shot. As soon as we got out of the truck. So there's another one right there. <laughs> They're gonna fly back a different direction than what they flew this morning. Coming back into the fields and whatnot. Hopefully they're gonna be a little bit lower, make it a little easier on us, but we'll see. We got plenty of shells. Oh, here's a group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Juicy. Where are you looking? Oh, juicy group. Look at the green tree right here. Well, they sure do act like they want to be shot. That's too front one there. No. Yeah. Got him on that last shot. <laughs> Starting to rain, y'all. This is it's not a good scenario. Lightning and metal Everything shotguns. We have already gotten about a dozen, and the other guys that were in the field, they've given us ours, thankfully. So I'll be taking some home to OSG. Yes. Mike, show us how to debone one. All right. Clean it and debone one, just all in one shot. And take your two thumbs, find the middle of the breast, and just come down on it. Pop your thumb through the bottom. Rip it. Take your thumb and run it down the bottom on both sides. And then you come up here, grab the, the breast plate, and pull the breast off. And then you so do just you have a, a nice, juicy, clean piece of meat. Boneless breast. You can cut the, sometimes you get a little piece of wing on Ready for bacon, jalapeno, and cream cheese, baby. Thanks. Thought we got done cleaning. We just got done cleaning, and I get in the truck, and I go to lean back. I'm like, something squishy back there, Mike. Take this vest and show them what's in there. Probably a couple doves in there. Just, just, I think, think there are. Mm. Tasty treats. Thank y'all for being here. Hope you enjoyed today's hunt. If you liked it, let me know in the comments. And guess what? <laughs> There's more, baby. I'll see you guys on the next one.